Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I've made quite a few videos lately, haven't I? I suppose I've got uh, I've got a lot to say and not much to do, so uh, I thought I'd make some videos. Anyway, the latest video is about Strava. Yes, all cyclists are on Strava. And you'll probably know that one of the recent updates that Strava did was a thing they called Local Legend. And this was about if you are the person who has ridden a particular segment the most times in the last 90 days, then you get the accolade Local Legend. Now, the reason they introduced this, obviously, is because not all of us, in fact, most of you, uh, won't be able to get a KOM and you won't be able to get top 10 on a particular segment. So on the basis of a new kind of inclusive uh, approach to competition which is like a kind of kid's birthday party where everybody gets a prize um, people like you who are incapable of achieving a top 10 on a particular segment can still get the best on a segment but you are the local legend because you've ridden it more times than anybody else so all you have to do is it i mean you create a segment uh, that's uh, in a place that nobody is ever going to go to apart from you you ride it a few times and then bingo you're a local legend and therefore you can compete with all your mates at the coffee shop or in the club or down the pub or wherever it is that you go now, as it happens, uh, Local Legend has been quite a big success. And, I, and I, I got a few Local Legends myself because I didn't get any KOMs, big surprise there. Um, so as a consequence of which, I wrote to Strava and said, look, here's a few ideas uh, about other local things that you ought to introduce. And hey, presto, they've uh, actually done it. And they've sent them to me. And um, I'm the first one uh, as you can see on my, my particular Strava, I'm the first one to get these various local elements. You'll be able to get them too uh, the next time there's a, a, an update and you uh, download the Strava update to your phone. So uh, they said to me, you know, you've got such a popular YouTube channel and uh, we really like your videos. So we want you, uh, not uh, DC Rainmaker and the other fella from Australia whose name I can never remember. We want you to be the first person uh, to share them uh, with all your loyal viewers. So the first one is the local used to be somebody. Now, if you are a cyclist, you have a certain age, uh, you're shit now, but you used to be really good. Well, if you write that uh, on your Strava profile, uh, then if you're riding with somebody else who used to be also quite good but you used to be more of a racer than they were in other words you used to be more of a somebody than they used to be a somebody then you will become the local best used to be somebody on that particular segment and i think you'll agree uh, that for some of us older cyclists who used to be something when we were younger that is something worth having now uh, the second one, one this isn't quite such a popular accolade and you will be familiar uh, with wheel suckers and wheel suckers are people who as you know jump on your wheel and just sit there and never take a turn either on a race or a sportive or anything like that so they've now introduced uh, the local wheel sucker wanker and using the Strava algorithm they can identify if you were riding uh, close behind somebody uh, but it's somebody that you didn't know, and it's a very clever algorithm, the way they've worked this out, then you will get that, the local wheel sucker wanker accolade. Now, it's not one that's particularly popular. It's not one that you necessarily want to get, but at least it will show uh, all the other cyclists that you are a, a wheel sucker. And obviously you don't want to be the wheel sucker, so you want somebody else uh, to come along and wheel suck your wheel so that they then take that local wheel sucker accolade away from you and they then become the local wheel sucker wanker. And that is something that's really worth aspiring to or not worth aspiring to. The next thing, uh, and this is, uh, I've got this actually on my, uh, on my Strava there, you can see it on there. And this is the local, all the gear and no idea. So if you, you know, you list uh, the various bikes that you own and of course, Strava doesn't actually check this uh, because Strava doesn't know how many bikes you own uh, unless you actually tell them. So I've actually listed that I own 42 bikes, nearly, nearly as many as Robin Williams, not quite as many. He used to own 50, I believe. Um, so I've listed that I own 42 uh, bikes uh, plus a whole load of helmets and a whole load of other gear as well. So I have got, as it happened, the local all the gear and no idea 
accolade and I'm quite proud uh, of getting, getting that from my particular part of Kent. So if you want to get that uh, and you live in a part of Kent near to me, then all you have to do, uh, and this is a sneaky little little kind of workaround dodge that they call it, that, that if you put in, then you've got 43 uh, bikes and 11 helmets and 14 pairs of shoes and so on and so forth, uh, then you can get the local all the gear and no idea accolade and take it away from me and I'll be pretty annoyed about that and may have to do some serious lying so I can get it back again. The next one is now, as you'll know, all cyclists and particularly cyclists on Strava are obsessed with losing weight because the power to weight ratio is the key metric in terms of measuring success. And as you know, uh, when you create your Strava profile, you put in uh, what your weight is. Now, I know everybody lies about their weight. I actually told the truth on it, but then I went on a diet. As some of you will know, there is a video about diet tips and I lost some weight. So I've got the accolade for my part of Kent for the local, do you think I've lost weight, all right? So when you meet your your mates at, at, the, at the club run or at the cafe and you're having your cake or whatever it is, and you say to them, do you think I've lost weight? And they say, yes, yes, Julian, how much weight have you lost? And then you can say, I've lost uh, three kilograms, which is a stone and a half in, in normal uh, temperatures, not temperatures, measures that, that you call it. And they say, oh, you've done really well. How did you do that? And then you can go through and you can bore them with all your various diet tips and tricks, which of course I did on my particular video, and you can see a link to it up there. And I have got that local, do you think I've lost weight? So if you want to steal that away from me, you're going to have to lose a bit of weight yourself. And it's not so easy to do, especially when you keep on eating the cake at the cake stop. So the next one is, and many of us cyclists on uh, Strava, we like our Zwift uh, I like my Zwift, well, I haven't been on it for a couple of months, and I'll tell you the reasons for, I, for that, because, right, because I am trying to get the local Zwift bore, right, so there, there's a, a person in our club, there's a person in every club, actually, who would bore you rigid with how wonderful Zwift is, and yes, I've got this particular wheel off trainer, or the wheel on trainer, uh, and I've got these special uh, ASOS uh, pain cave shorts, or whatever it is, or I've got the, the DHB pain cave jersey, so they will witter on about this fucking Zwift all the time, and until you come across, right, and this is the worst one of all. The local trainer road is better than Zwift bore. And I dare say you've come across one of them in the club who's going to say to you, well, you know, Zwift is all right. But the real thing, if you want proper training plans, is trainer road. I think you'll find that all the serious cyclists are using trainer road. Zwift is very much, it's very much for the kind of leisure cyclists, the kind of peloton, peloton wannabe. But trainer road, if you want to get good on the bike, that's the kind of thing you need. So if you want to get the the local Zwift bore, or even the local trainer road is better than Zwift bore badge, then you're going to have to work hard for it and you can get it. Now, the next one, as we know, uh, some cyclists, they like doing their sportives. You know, it's one of their great things, but they don't just do sportives for themselves. No, they do sportives for other people. They raise money, yes. So if you want to get the local Do You Want to Sponsor Me to Ride a Sportive badge, and yes, I've got it on my phone, and uh, sorry, I've got it on my Zwift. Uh, not my Zwift, what am I talking about? I've got it on my uh, Strava app, the local do you want to sponsor me? As you know, I am riding Land's End to John O'Groat starting next weekend. And if you want to sponsor me and raise some money for charity, then you can do so. So that's a great accolade to have the do you, the local do you want to sponsor me to ride a sportive that I really want to do, but you can give some money to charity just to encourage me to do something that I'm planning to do anyway. The next one. Do you like your tubeless? Now, some of you will know, regular viewers of this channel will know, that I think that tubeless is a while of pank. It is absolute tosser. It doesn't work. But if you like your tubeless tyres, 
and you want to be the local tubeless is brilliant if you only knew Julian how to fit it properly and this is quite a rare badge actually because you need to know somebody like Julian preferably me but there are other people called Julian on, on uh, Strava and on uh, I nearly said Zwift again I got Zwift on the brain uh, there are other people called Julian on Strava and uh, 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 in the cycling clubs not many of them it's quite a rare name uh, but if you want to get that uh, that particular badge the tubeless is brilliant the local tubeless is brilliant then why don't you get tubeless tyres, see if you can fit them on, see if you can get that bloody sealant in there, see if you can get the tyres to stay on, and see if you can sort them out when you get a puncture out on the road, which, trust me, you will, and not just one, then you can be the local tubeless is brilliant. And on that same note, the similar note, you like your, you like your steel bikes, and you like your... You like your old fashioned gear, you like your retro stuff, you like your uh, local used to be somebody. So you will want to have the local save the rim brake badge, yes. We know that rim brakes are the best. We know that in a fast descent down a Swiss Alp in the pouring rain, if there's one thing that's going to stop you in your tracks, yes, guys, it's a rim brake, especially used on carbon rims. So if you want to be the local save the rim brake accolade owner on Strava, then sign up for it log into your account let me get my Strava up log into your account sign up for that particular challenge and you can win it if you're a real local save the rim brake person and last last but not least and this is about clothing this is about kit now you can either be the local Yes, ASOS is expensive, but you know that old saying, buy cheap, buy twice. So you like your ASOS gear, you like your Cafe du Cyclist gear, you like your, your Rafa gear, you like your, your Castelli gear, you like all that really expensive stuff that's got a great big fucking badge on the front so everybody knows you've spent all your hard earned on the cycling kit. You can be the local spend a lot of money on your cycling kit person on Strava or or you can be at the bottom end of the scale and you can be there. Uh, it's, there's some really good stuff on Aldi, but you have to be quick. Or people don't know it, but your local decathlon is where you get some really good quality, good value French kit. It's cheap, but it's excellent. So if you want to be the local Aldi person, the local posh kit person, or the local decathlon person, then you can get that Strava badge. And the final one last but not least i nearly forgot and that is the local sean kelly never wore a helmet so why should i know if you want to be that kind of far cyclist who thinks there's no need to wear a helmet because there's no bmws and range rovers around where you cycle they will determined to knock you off your bike somebody yesterday said he called me an arsehole i thought that was i thought it was quite old-fashioned epithet i mean i'm i often get called a, a c-u-n-t uh i often get called a uh, a wanker uh i often get called a fucking idiot but i haven't been called an arsehole for quite a long time and the guy passed me i can't remember what i'd done to to upset him but but he passed me and he shouted out arsehole i would nearly shouted after him if i was to spend my time responding to wankers driving cheap shit cars then i'd never get through the day without raising my voice you know you go up to somebody you think what <laughs> got divorced did you yeah she took the kids did she is that all you can afford one of those shit old skodas oh you poor little fucker so you've got to drive around seeing innocent elderly cyclists on the road and shout arsehole at them but anyway that's getting off the subject so if you want to be the kind of cyclist who said, well, Sean Kelly never wore a helmet, so why should I? Or Eddie Merckx never wore a helmet, or Bernard Eno never wore a helmet, because you've also got the local used to be some body badge, and you think, I don't need to wear a helmet. I'm not going to have a crash and end up with permanent brain damage and fuck up my family's life for the rest of their useless existence. Then you 
can win the local Sean Kelly never wore a helmet so why should I so all these 10 is it 10 or 11 new local uh, badges that Strava are introducing are going to be available on the next download so you get into your Strava now you hit that download button and get them all and start competing for the kind of badges that are the only ones you're going to get because you're never going to get a KOM. Thanks for watching and see you next time.